Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Nick in the States. And today, Project Sunday, we're doing another thing where it revolves around some sort of guitar project. Maintenance, sport, swapping, upgrading, whatever. And in this case, what we're going to do today is try out a set of quick plugs by GFS. It's their solderless guitar pickups and wiring harness set. It's great for people like me who are lazy and also people who may not have the most conducive environment to soldering. I have a six-year-old, four-year-old, soldering iron, bad. Outside, cold, means soldering doesn't happen or I have to really work hard to make that work. Anyway, so <clears throat> what these are, um, and these are the gold foil set of um, single coils from our lovely friends at Guitar Fetish. And what they've done, they haven't really reinvented the wheel by much here, but cool looking gold foil pickup. They've included with a pickup comes with some cloth braided that and leads. You can solder this in and from that point on in your wiring harness, you are now quick plug enabled. Comes with your springs and your screws, all that kind of stuff. Looks kind of cool. The gold should play off some of the accents in this guitar you're going to see in just a sec. But what's neat, what's really awesome, I still got to solder these, right? If I have an existing harness. <clears throat> you can buy a harness, and if you look, they're already all soldered in. We've got three lengths for which pickup is there. And all I have to do when I do it on the guitar is unplug this guy, put that aside, plug this guy in, and voila, my pickup is wired into my harness. And the other thing I noticed while I was looking at this this morning is like, yeah, but the, the jack, well, it's nice they've soldered it all up. It doesn't fit all the way through the hole to get to that cavity. But in fact, the jack unplugs from the back of the pot, which means I can then plug it back in, no soldering. The only thing you actually have to worry about soldering is your ground that goes to your bridge plate. But what they've also done in that case is they have included somewhere in here one of those neat little barrel connectors. Get a pair of wire cutters on, crimp that thing right down, and you can crimp it right to the ground in your guitar. That's really, really cool. So let's have some fun. Um, really intrigued. So the guitar we're going to do it on, I've already kind of mentioned it. Note to self, cut out the room view. All right. So the guitar I'm going to put it on is my Stratigues. And this is, for obvious reasons, a very popular guitar among my Portuguese subscribers on here. We dig that. Uh, we love Portugal. Um, so what I'll do first is take off the strings. And we're going to do a timer on this. So note to self, 3 minutes, 55, which you will say at the 4 minute mark of this video, from me recording, um, we'll do a full timing. I'll tell you how long this takes completely to swap everything out. All right, for those keeping score at home, it takes approximately five minutes <laughs> to take the strings off and, and take everything out of your existing guitar. Maybe you'd have to snip a, uh, a ground wire in the back, um, which there wasn't one actually in all the way. Um, so that's that. So the first thing first is figuring out one, two, three. I'm going to assume it's a probably dangerous assumption that uh, KPS 101 is a neck pickup. Let's hope, right? Um, there you go. There's this cool neck pickup. Look, it has gold foil on the top. Ooh. So it's going to go in there like that. Get this gold foil cover. 
that's how she's gonna sit in here. Like y'all. All right, I'm gonna pause here. GFS kind of missed punching this uh, screw hole through. I'm like, why won't it screw in? Well, because it, it kind of has nowhere to go through. So pickups in. By the end, I actually figured out how to do that efficiently. Um, and I also, as you could probably tell, mounted them upside down. So tricks so you don't have to be as stupid as me. Make sure the V's are pointing down because that's how the V's are pointing in your neck pocket. And then I did it so that all the circles are on the top side. I did it backwards two or three different times, but you get the idea. Um, but we're 16 or 17 minutes into the project, and that's kind of cool. So now we have your... Yeah. So where we have a lesson, folks. Um, this guy right here is not a standard guard. I used a Squire guard. Squires use a smaller uh, five-way switch. I noticed this when I put in the temporary one. And the problem is, is that the screw holes don't line up. So I'm going to have to do two things here. I'm going to only do one of them to start. Um, if I go like this, I'm not sure I'm going to have plenty on that way. Okay, cool. So um, I'm only going to do one screw today because I'm going to have to cut this to go farther down here and put a new screw hole in the guard. Um, and you won't have to do that probably because you would have had a normal standard fender guard and not lazily grab one that you had laying around when you painted this five years ago with paint that you no longer have. Anyway, fun projects, fun mistakes. Um, so let's see. If you look though, it's nice as... The way this is wired, these pretty much slip right in here, and you can tell this goes right here. So there's not a lot of guesswork there. So allow us to take these buggers off. There you go, there. They're all in. Now in this situation, I'm only going to screw in one of these screws to hold the flip switch in. Um, <clears throat> and then as I said, we will come back and uh, and do this correctly. We're fixed. Fix the error of our ways on that one once it's all done. Cool. Ta-da. Now, if I look at the cables, right, and the wires that are here, I can go shortest to longest, closest to farthest, and neatly fight the good fight of plugging them into their pickups. Look at that. So now, you have a wired pick guard. <clears throat> Let's do one more thing. Let's unplug this bad boy. There's your jack. And this body, where are you? Nope. So on this body, the cavity is too tight for that size of the end of the jack. Luckily, we have a drill. Should be able to just follow. <clears throat> I 
And now, if I go and check and test for fitment, fitment, it goes in there just fine. Now the snake might back up. Ta-da! Look at that! Beautiful. So now. So now there you go. Look at that. Your jack is all set to be screwed in. So we'll go find the jack two screws we use for that. <clears throat> All right, so jack is screwed in. I can then plug this right into here. Boom. Now with these, I'm gonna lay them right in the channel as I put the, the pick guard on. And for vintage style bodies, this is the most annoying part really. Actually, I'm forgetting a step. Don't forget to run your ground wire through the body. And here, make sure you get your cables in the channels if your body is vintage style. So tight confines. The, um, when I screwed this guy in, the solder points got to the point where it blocked being uh, the edge of the cavity. It ran into the edge of the cavity. So words were escaping me there. Okay. So now push that back through there. Get everything set up in my ca cavities there. Get everything kind of set here. And look at that. She goes on great. Um, so for now, let's go and throw a couple of key screws here. I'm not going to screw all of these in because I'm just going to have to take it off to fix this flip switch. The other thing we have to do is do some work on a gold switch tip. But now you can kind of see how the strategies has kind of come all together. Now, <clears throat> the one thing I'm not going to show in this video today is just this guy is going to start into the plate right here. You'll notice I don't have a plate right there, but I will soon. Um, if you have a lead off of there, if you've clipped the previous set of pickups, you'll be able to just use that barrel connector they provided and everything will work out just dandy but for today in well it's been 32 minutes basically since I started filming today and so if you take including stripping the tar putting everything back take off four I can do the math 28 minutes I put new pickups in and if your guitar was slightly better prepped and didn't have a couple small issues like I did you could do it even faster so less than a half an hour you can swap out put a whole new set of pickups in your guitar and it's all set to rock and roll. And really, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Isn't the whole name of the game? Um, isn't the whole name of the game finishing your projects? Because <laughs> I suck at it. Um, and then being able to go out and play. I think so. That's what I think. So, anywho, um, with that, I've been in the States. I have issues. I enjoy sharing with you. Next time. So, um... Project updates kind of stuff. This guitar will be probably this Sunday and next Sunday. Next Sunday we'll get her finished, a new client, soldered, and get a, hopefully a great little play demo for you guys. Um, and then the strategy is after all of its long journey will be complete. Uh, and I hope to have actually live gigging stuff for this because my buddy Jeff's band um, is a very Portuguese-oriented local band here in the States. Everyone in it's Portuguese, I think, at this point. Um, so... Uh, Hopefully he'll play it for a couple tracks, that kind of stuff. We'll get some video for it. That's the hope. Um, the blue guitar, blue telly right now is gassing off. I gas off a lot, especially after chili. But it's um, it's after you finish a guitar, you want to um, make sure that you give the finish time to harden before you go through the polishing and whatever else stuff. Also, we found out that the neck pocket isn't sunk quite deep enough. I have kind of a hacky fix. Um, and then I have a real fix, which is to actually get it routed down deeper. I don't want to break it. So uh, I may take that to someone's shop and have them do it. So anyway, um, that's what's coming up. I hope you enjoyed our little GFS pickup swap. You'll get a good feel and a full idea of what the pickups sound like and does this whole thing work? Uh, hopefully next Sunday. Thanks guys, I've been Nick in the States. Yes, I have issues, take care now.